Hey guys, welcome to my legal classes. This is Ganesh Pujari and in my two previous classes, we have already learned the meaning, characteristics, advantages, limitations, classifications of public corporations. And in my second video, we already learned the rights, duties, powers and liabilities of public corporation. In this video, we are going to see the different controls that are available over public corporations. Why do waste time? Let's get into the first slide. There are four types of controls available on public corporations. They are parliamentary control, judicial control, government control and public control. Let us try understand them one by one. Under parliamentary control, we have to remember four important aspects which can control the public corporations. The first one being by legislations or statutory provisions. Parliament makes all the legislations or statutory provisions by amending it or by redefining it or by abolishing them the parliament can control the public corporations that is the first way of controlling second way by asking questions parliament can ask questions on annual accounts and reports that have been placed in the parliament by the public corporations the third one is by passing resolutions or debates in parliament by having the debates over annual accounts or report which are placed by the uh, public corporations in front of the parliament parliament can control the public corporations and last one is by constituting parliamentary committees here you need to remember that there was a committee formed in the year 1959 which was menon committee after the report there was a committee placed with the act by name committee on public understanding year 1964 where they have mentioned few to do activities and not to do activities by parliament the must do activities are like examining the accounts and reports of the corporation and examining the accounts and reports of the controller and auditor general and examine the business affairs principles prudent commercial practices and other functions as directed by speaker on time to time basis these are the to do that means parliament has to do all these activities whereas parliament should not participate in the commercial functions which are distinct from the government policy and matter of day to day administration etc where parliament should not intervene these are the important control that we need to remember while explaining parliamentary control the second aspect of controlling public corporation is judicial control we need to remember that public corporation is a legal person and whatever case against that can be reviewed by judicial authorities that's the first thing we need to remember second one liability on thoughts that is article 300 of indian constitution discusses about the tortious activities and if there is any torts committed by the public corporation that will be reviewed or controlled by the judiciary the third one is writ against authorities will be discussed from the judicial angle that is also the control or reviewing power available with the judiciary fourth one if there is any violation of fundamental rights by the public corporation to the citizens of india because they are coming under the definition of state as per article 12 that will be reviewed by judiciary and fifth one rule of law that should be fair hearing or there should not be bias in the hearing or there should not be doctrine of proportionality or doctrine of legitimate expectation which is not satisfied in all these cases judiciary will control or review such activities and finally there should not be any arbitrary or unfair or bias function by the public authorities in case if there is any such activities by public organizations then judicial will review or control the same the third way of control is government control over public corporations governments are controlling the public corporation in many ways the first one being appointment and removal of chairman and other important persons will be done by government so that way they have the control over public corporations secondly the approval of rules related to service conditions is framed by government Thirdly, the important control that is financial control is available with government because most of the time the budget is provided by the government itself. That way they have the control over public corporation. Fourth one, they are giving directions on policy making aspects. That way they have the control. Fifth one, rules and regulations are majorly made by the government because statute will define the initial thing and then rules and regulations are made by the government. And sixth one, the Public corporations are reporting to government so that way government can control while reviewing such report and seventh one by way of giving suggestions also government can control the public corporations. These are the important methods that government controls the public corporations. Why are we having public corporations? It is for the benefit of public right. So the publics are the last control which is the control against the public corporations. 
Now, how are they controlling? By making opinion. That is the first way of controlling public corporations by public. Secondly, consumer councils. Now, not all individuals are aware of all the services available or the products available or maybe they are not eligible or capable of commenting on those products or services. But by having consumer councils where the experts will be available, they will make opinions or comments on the public corporations. That way they can control the public corporations. Third one, by being the members of certain committees like hospital management committee, by being the member of the committee, publics can control the public corporation. That is the third way. Fourth and fifth way are very legal way, very important way. These days, these are the highly discussed topic that is consumer codes under consumer protection act 1986 these are the five important controls that are available with public against the public corporations with that i am concluding the series on public corporations hey guys please subscribe my father's channel please subscribe my channel please like share and comment my videos all the very best for your exams and thank you so much for watching me